What's going on guys? Welcome back. So today what we're going to do is create a Discord bot that can also send emails. So the way that we're going to go ahead and do this is we're going to go ahead and watch it first. We're going to watch the Discord bot send an email. Then we're going to walk through the code so you can implement your own. So now here, let's go ahead and watch how to do this. So basically, I set up a way to indicate to my Discord bot that I want to send an email, and that's with the hashtag email text. So I'm going to put in hashtag email, and then I'm going to put in the email that I want to send it to. And in my case, I'm going to be using uh, one of my backup emails here uh, that I use for testing purposes. And I'm going to demonstrate that in just a moment. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and add a, uh, now we're going to add a subject, and that's going to be test, and a, and now we're going to add a body, which is going to be testing. Now we're going to click enter, and we're going to see what happens here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead over to our inbox, click refresh. And we don't have any mail yet, but let's see what happened. Oh, we weren't running our bot. <laughs> so that's a good start. So I'm going to run the bot first, then we're going to go ahead and do that. Oops. There we go. And now the bot should indicate to me that it's logged in. So bot is ready. And now we can go ahead here and run that again. Or enter that again. And now we can see that this it, it detected it split up the text into the uh, basically with the action. So email uh, who the email was being sent to the subject of the message and the body of the message. And then it went ahead and sent that email. So let's go ahead and refresh over here. And there we go, we got the email. So that's how to create a Discord bot that can send emails. So now let's review the code and let's, let's review some of the hot spots in the code here. So this, this bot, again, all it does is send emails. If you guys wanna learn how to send emails with Python, I just finished a video that implements very similar code yesterday for how to send emails. And so the link to that video will also be in the description. Here we're simply going to review the part that uh, that the, that implements the, the discord part of the functionality. So what we see here is def send message This is again the way to send the email. We're not going to review that today uh, This here starts up the email server for sending that mail and Then we get to the port <coughs> get to the part that's important for discord So we go ahead and create a client. This is our connection with the discord server uh, and a way, the way we connect with that, we'll see down below, but we basically take a token that we use uh, once we create a bot. And I'll walk through at the end here how to walk through and create a bot uh, specifically uh, to, from, the, from the very get-go as well. You'll need to do those steps. Or actually, I'll do that as we go along here. So what we need to see is, is uh, how to get this token. So what you guys need to do, need to do is go to discord.com slash developers slash applications. So once you get there, we can go up to the top right and click new application, at which point you can put in a name. So testing application dash bot. Then you can go ahead and click create. All right, at which point you can go ahead here and go down to bot. You see bot on the left here. Click that and then click add bot. Yes, do it. And then you go ahead and you see uh, here token. You can click to reveal your token, click copy, and then you're going to take that token and you're going to copy it into your uh, text file. So at which point you would create a text file called uh, you know config.py. I already have that file, but you can go ahead and and create someone something similar on on your computer as well and then you can go ahead and put in the tokens we can say token in all caps equals uh, that string all right so <clears throat> then you can do that for username and password for the email as well and again for that you can see how to implement that vo functionality specifically in the other video prior a link below that'll show you how to set up how to set up the specific email sending functionality uh, with this just as it stands you'll have a connection to discord and you can filter through discord messages and create actions based on those so then we go ahead here and we see this at at client.event so what this is is a decorator so what this is going to do is basically wrap this function that we see here this on ready function it's going to wrap it with some other functionality so that would look something like this right so you have a function that's like def uh you know def uh decorator and then that would have a function inside it called wrapper And then the wrapper would go ahead and say execute some functionality. So we'll say like you know a time or a time or you know some functionality we call like func here. And then it would go ahead and call execute like the decorated function here. So then we have like this, right? All 
Okay, so what this is is a basic decorator, right? So you, this, this takes a single function, which is what this parameter is here. So you can think of this. This right here is this decorated function. Then we have a wrapper that executes some functionality, and then we have our, our functionality that basically performed, is performed when the bot logs in. And that is gonna be, again, performed down below here when we see async def on message. So whenever a message comes in, we have, we have the wrapper functionality that executes, and then we have this, this message that is, filtered, that is filtered through this here. So now what we're doing when we get to filtering the message is when, we, when messages come through on the channel, we're basically looking to see if hashtag email exists in the, in the message's content. And if it does, then we're splitting it on all those hashtags. Now, if we looked back here, if we look back over here at, at what we entered in, you see there's a hashtag email, hashtag the email we're sending it to, hashtag the uh, subject, and hashtag body, right? So if we split it on all the hashtags, then we see what the list that we end up with, we see down below here. So where we have the empty, the empty item, uh, we have email as the first index, and then we have the email or, or email the action as the first index, the email the, the destination as the second index, and then the subject as the third and the content as the fourth. All right, so that's how we split that up there. And then we go ahead and we call this send message function, passing all that data that we split off the Discord message. And that's gonna go ahead and send that email, again, using that function that we talked about before. Again, just basically what it's doing is it's creating a message instance. It's going ahead and it's setting from to and subject. Uh, it is then attaching the body and sending the email. The email is being sent from the, in, our, in my case, Google Mail servers, which I've logged into with some configuration. All right, guys, so that about does it. That's how to uh, create a Discord bot. One thing I want to do cover as well is after you've, after you've created, um, let's see here, after you've, cre after you've set up this token, you do need to go to OAuth2 here, and then you need to click bot. This is setting up permissions. And then you need to go ahead here and click copy. And then you go ahead and copy this in here. But after you do that, you want to set administrator. And then you go ahead and copy this link in. And what that does is that is, again, going to authorize your bot. So then you go ahead and select the server that you want to add the bot to, and then click authorize. So then it's authorized with permissions. You have the token so you can establish the connection. The permissions have already been set up in the Discord UI. And then the bot should be ready to go, and you can read messages and whatnot. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And yeah, any comments or questions, do leave them below. I'll get right back to you. Have a great day, guys.